Hello and welcome to Lunchtime Politics. I'm Millicent Walker. On the news this hour, poll preparations in top gear as INEC briefing enters day four. Deployments of sensitive materials to local government areas ahead of Saturday's elections to end today. Nigeria's Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuka Buratai, asked soldiers to deal decisively with anyone caught doing anything that will be inimical to the success of the elections. It's a war of words between the two main rival parties, APC and PDP, getting to a feverish point less than 48 hours to the presidential National Assembly elections on Saturday. Welcome everyone to the program. Now the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, appears to be keeping his promises to Nigerians given all the updates on the preparations for Saturday's elections. Now, in the commission's agenda towards the 23rd February scheduled election date, receipt and deployment of sensitive materials to local government areas, which began on Wednesday, is to end on the 21st of February. Also, a refresher training for ad hoc staff is expected to have started ahead of Saturday's polls. Now, Professor Yakubu uh, did announce, or rather is expected, to give another briefing today at the ICC Centre in Abuja. In the meantime, uh, INEX chairman announced that 100% configuration of the smart card readers have been achieved at the last briefing on Wednesday. He also revealed that deployments of electoral materials in the 774 local government areas have commenced in earnest. Uh, correspondent Linda Akibe reports. Well, we'll come back to Linda on that story and staying with the elections now. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuka Buratai, says the Army is taking a proactive approach to stop election crimes such as ballot box snatching and violence. Well, General Buratai was speaking in furtherance to the order by the Commander-in-Chief, President Mohamed Buhari, during a meeting with principal officers and commanders of the Nigerian Army in the nation's capital, Abuja. He asked the commanders to deal decisively with anyone caught doing anything that will be inimical to the six Success of the election. Amako Kafu, our correspondent, was there. The governorship candidates. Monday, 18th of February 2019, President Muhammad Buhari ordered security operators to deal with anyone caught snatching ballot boxes during the rescheduled election. Anybody who decides to snatch boxes or lead thugs to disturb it, maybe there's the last. Uh, a lawful uh, action he will take. I really give the military and the police to be ruthless. We are not going to be blamed that we want to rig election. I want Nigerians to be respected. As if to make good the order of the president, the chief of army staff has also issued an order to officers and men of the Nigerian army. Incidents of this nature in previous elections are often planned and orchestrated by politicians and the Nigerian army has hitherto been very cautious in its approach. However, this time around, the Nigerian army will adopt a proactive posture that ensures that similar incidences do not even arise. Commanders must deal decisively with any electoral crime or action that will be inimical to national security. The Army Chief maintains that the Army remains a political and any officer found culpable will be dealt with. Commanders are to ensure that they and their personnel do not hobnob with politicians at any level. In this regard, there will be no military escort for any politician and all Nigerian Army personnel are to stay clear of retired military officers especially those who are, now, uh, who are now politicians until after the elections. The Army Chief says their intervention will be in support of other security agencies in charge of internal security. The question that begs for an answer is whether this security arrangement will instill voter confidence or lead to voter apathy. Only time will tell. Amaka Okafo, 
Channel Television News. Sights and Sounds, the leader of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Tinubu, who is optimistic of the party's success at the presidential and national assembly elections. Mr. Tinubu was speaking at the party's stakeholder meeting in Lagos, where he mentioned that the People's Democratic Party is the opponent to defeat at the polls on Saturday. He further urged all party faithful to be proactive in campaigning for the All Progressives Congress. run into crisis. When a plane gets into turbulence, sometimes the passenger shakes, the plane shakes, the pilot shakes, then they eventually steady the plane. The prayer is that they should land safely and happily. Elsewhere, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Bubakar, who was at a town hall meeting in Kaduna on Wednesday, called for votes for his party. The national chairman of the PDP, Uche Sekundos, also told PDP leaders that this is a time to vote for a man who will transform Nigeria from its present state of poverty. According to him, quote, Atiku Bubakar, the candidate of the PDP, is presenting to you more jobs. He will open up the industries and tackle poverty squarely, end of quote. He also assured people of Kaduna State who had earlier complained of security that his presidency would ensure that the issue of violence and clashes in the states will be squarely tackled by his administration. The Independent National Electoral Commission... With the postponing of the presidential elections till the 23rd of February and the resumption of campaigns, the Presidential Campaign Council of the People's Democratic Party is in Kaduna at the International Trade Fair Complex. The team is here to meet with leaders of the party at the local level. The meeting also has in attendance leaders of the party at the state and federal level. The people are told to be law-abiding as they cast their votes in the coming days. We have wasted four years. Do you want us as true Northerners, as leaders of the North in Kaduna, to waste another four precious years? Stand by your ballot box, stand there firmly, defend your vote, your vote must be counted. The PDP as a whole and as a policy will not tolerate any ballot boxes snatching or any other manipulation or rigging we're against we are against rigging for the presidential candidate it's a chance to remind the people of his promise to create jobs
He assures them of his commitment to also address the issue of education. From there, the team moves to meet with the group, the Arewa Traders Association. The group outlines some of the challenges confronting their businesses. The candidate promises to help facilitate trade, even as he appeals for their support. Lanre Lassisi, Channels Television News.